Hey guys, welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil, and it's the green light, the season opener against the Tampa Bay Super Bowl champs, Buccaneers, and it looks like we're going to put our offense and our defense straight to the test for this season opener. But it, hey guys, it's the green light. We're finally here, the season opener of the regular season. Let's get this thing started. When you focus on the offensive side of the ball, it's easy to get concerned when you get news that Zach Martin, our offensive right guard, won't be available due to COVID protocols, but it's something that every NFL team is going to deal with at some point in the season, and it's unfortunate that Dallas has to deal with a key one against the Super Bowl defending champions. When you got guys like Sue and Pierre Paul coming in with the number one rated run defense, you know keeping Dak upright with this line blocking is going to be the key to getting the ball out to the receiving core and even to this tight end core that is really good and can get open. So that's going to be a very big key matchup, and I think our offense can do it. Now, am I positive? No, because we have not seen a lick of them all preseason, and the time to put your money with your mouth is, is the season opener against the Super Bowl defending champions, because if you know if you don't do it, the next week you're going to be talked about like the season is over when you're just getting started. So let's get this call moving, let's get the green light going, let's get this offense rolling. Now the exciting part of our team is definitely the defensive side of the ball. These young guys that are talking trash to a seven-time Super Bowl champion saying what they're going to do. I think it's hilarious because they're very naive when it comes to the NFL life. But I love the attitude and I love if they can back it up because it goes into the regular season with some confidence already taking down a Super Bowl champion. And if you don't win, you know what you have to go to to measure up to a Super Bowl champion by the end of the season. So I think it's a great thing to start off the season with. I think to get pressure on Tom Brady, that's going to be hard because Tom Brady is very known for getting the ball out quickly to his running back, to his tight ends. He loves his tight ends. He loves his slot receivers with Welker. He, he loves those guys. He's always very quickly getting the ball out. He's, he's, this is the reason why he's as old playing in the NFL. It's because he releases those deflated balls very quickly. And so this team, to get pressure on him, it's going to be guys also pressing against those tight ends and getting those, those running backs covered very quickly to be able to put any kind of pressure, which Osa and them can do, but that's going to be the key. It's all the defense working together and Dan Quinn leading them to a hell of a victory or a learning experience for the regular season and what you have to live up for going forward and getting into those playoffs. Thank you for tuning in this week, guys. Like always, I'm Primetime Phil. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think the prediction of this game is going to be. Do you think Tom Brady is going to sling it all over the place? Do you think Dak Prescott is going to have a comeback for the ages? Do you think the game is going to come down to the wire with the last possession being the victor or even the defense winning it at the very end for that team? I'm interested to see what you guys think. Let me know what your prediction for the score is going to be. I'll give you a shout out if you're right. I'll give you a shout out if you're really wrong. And odds are if you're my friend, you're really wrong. But make sure you hit that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. And like always, make sure you ring that bell.